I could have picked anywhere to do my physics project. But I picked the Mall of America. The Mall of America is the largest mall in the United States. If you visit every store for one minute, you will, it will take you eight and a half hours. More people visit the Mall of America than Disneyland, the White House, and the Sears Tower combined. The mall is so big, it has an amusement park inside called Nickelodeon Universe. Now, not only did I visit the Mall of America on some regular shopping day, no, I visited on Black Friday, the most busy, chaotic shopping day of the entire year. I fought the crowds, I fought the chaos, um, to fit, and I put my dedication to finishing this physics project. The first roller coaster I visited was called SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. <laughs> The roller coaster had two 90 degree drops. Now most of you ride roller coasters for thrill and excitement and really love that feeling when the stomach jumps back up in the throat. Now I do like those things too, but what I like most is explaining the physics behind the thrill. You know, you take a look at the roller coaster. roller coaster, right? Now, roller coasters aren't just fun and games and excitement, you know? You've got conceptual ideas and equations and friction and all that that goes behind it. Now, I have all the equations that can help explain that to you. Here we go. Alright, right now we're going to find the potential energy of the highest point on the roller coaster. If you remember, the roller coaster came up at a 90 degree angle, went all the way up to the top, and came back down. We are going to find the potential energy at this point. We, we do that by using the equation PE equals MGH. PE being the potential energy, M being the mass, G being acceleration due to gravity, which we know is 9.8 meters per second squared, and H being the height. All right, if we plug numbers in for mass, which would be 670 kilograms, and height, which would be 20 meters, we can find the potential energy. Plugging in the numbers, which would be 670 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 20 meters, we will get 131,320 joules for potential energy. In physics, we know that mechanical energy equals kinetic energy plus potential energy. Now up here at the highest point, there is no velocity. The car is not moving. So potential energy is as we found, 131,320 joules. Kinetic energy is zero because we know that the equation for kinetic energy is one half m v squared, v being the velocity. And since there is no velocity, it's zero. So one half times m times zero would be zero. Potential energy being 131,320 joules. Due to cons conservation of energy, we know at the lowest point, the reference point, we are going to have full kinetic energy. So if we go back to our equation, mechanical energy equals p potential energy plus kinetic energy. The kinetic energy must be one, 
131,320 joules. Because the height is zero, we've got our reference level. That'll be our reference level. Because the height is zero, PE, sorry about that, PE equals MGH. The height is zero, so M times G times zero equals zero. Since we have now found the kinetic energy, we can find the velocity. Using our equation, kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared. We plug in mass at 670 kilograms and kinetic energy at 131,320 joules. We can solve for v squared, essentially finding the velocity. Now if we divide 335, which would actually be 1 half times 670 kilograms, over on the other side, we will get 392 joules divided by kilogram equals velocity squared. This also equals 392 meters squared per second squared equals velocity squared. Take the square root of both sides and you get 19.8 meters per second equals the velocity at this point. 19.8 meters per second that's just flat out fast. Every second, nearly 20 meters. Every second again, 20 meters. I don't know about you, but that gives me a thrill. You know what this is? It's a roller coaster. Roller coasters are physics. You know, now I tried to give you a first person view of SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge, but I sat down and they took the camera right away from me. I was heartbroken. But, you know, I thought, you deserved a first person view. Now, I didn't take the camera onto SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge again. No, I took it onto Orange Streak. And at the risk of imprisonment, for the sake of physics, I took this video for you. Enjoy. All right, as we have learned in physics class, uh, mechanical energy uh, equals kinetic energy plus potential energy. And on this roller coaster today, Exert, we will exert that potential energy into kinetic energy as we go down the hill. 